It's a serious one. I mean, uh, it doesn't get any more serious than this. Yeah, because, because this here is a you are. You got married thinking we both share the same life dream. We're perfect partners because we know we're on the same page with this. And that's kind of a rare thing to have that vision. You know, we both know we're not into the parenting thing. We want to focus other ways. Right. It's a, it's a, it gets to one of the most important values that we have on this planet. Yeah, and but you also can't pretend if your life dream has changed and now this part of your heart is opened up and you would like to be a parent, you can't pretend like you don't want to. You have to be authentic. No, and it's going to be misery for one of you to kind of play games and somehow right. bring a child into this world when the other doesn't want that. Yeah, so here's the deal. The commitment to the marriage has already been made, and you have to be honest and continue to share your desire. But if you've committed to that marriage and the other person isn't willing to be a parent, I mean, I think you're going to have to continue to negotiate because you can't just... Um, walk away because your dream has changed. Right, you've got to continue the conversation mm -hmm. for some time. Now that doesn't mean you continually talk about it. In fact, one of the things you need to do is set some time limits on the conversation because it'll drive your spouse nuts if it's just brought up willy-nilly whenever something reminds you of that or you see a, a, a young family walking down the street or what have you. And so you've got to say, you know, we're not going to talk about this issue for the next three months. And, and then don't revisit you agree, it. this is one of those deeply felt things that needs to be a matter of personal prayer. Sure. Sometimes even fasting when a desire is this deep, that God would change that desire if it's not something that can be fulfilled together as a couple. Absolutely.